Hey guys, welcome to Robust Reef Tanks. I'm Ash, and today we're going to be acclimating these fish to my reef tank. Let's get right into this. creatures you can put in here are coral and crabs, or vertebrates, I guess, crabs. Um, but, so, we do have to acclimate them, but you don't need to go through those two hours, three hours that usually would for corals and birds. So, the first step is we're just going to let them float here at the top of the tank, just so that they get accustomed to the temperature of the water. Oh, and by the way, I did already have them sitting right here next to the tank for probably about 20 minutes just getting used to the lighting. So I'm gonna turn it off just for a little bit right now, just since they're right at the surface, but they are used to the LED lights already, so that's important to do. And you will want to shut them off just since they'll be at the surface, but. Let them sit there about 20 minutes so that they can get used to the temperature. The next part is getting them used to the water itself. So I'm just gonna snip off the top of the bag. I tried doing the rubber band before, but trust me, it's not that it's not going to It's made to stay there, so just leave this one. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to roll the bag just so it's a little bit smaller. You don't want to snip off this just because this is actually what's going to keep the bag afloat on top without being connected to the side. we go. Should work just like that. Okay, now this is the more difficult part. We're going to come back about every five minutes for about an hour, maybe a little less since they're fish, and you're going to take a little measuring cup. I have about a third of a cup here. You can go and just pour that in there. We're going to do this for about probably half an hour to an hour between then and right, see how much we can fit in the bag before it overflows. So you can either just leave this floating there since it has the rim, or if you don't trust that you can just go and secure it to the side. I'm just going to kind of push it into the corner, but other than that, just leave it floating. So, go back to you in about five minutes. It's been about five minutes, now I'm going to go and put some more water in. I'd probably have about 20 more minutes worth of water that I can put in, because that'll add up to about half an hour. With fish, really, half an hour to an hour, that's fine for them. As I said before, they're not too delicate. So really, this is just to remove all that stress that they might get just going into a new tank. And it's really just a good idea to do this. But so yeah, I'd say on your own, do half an hour to an hour. If you can get closer to an hour with the bag you have, how you rolled it, then I'd say do that. Otherwise, it's not a problem. Half an hour is still plenty of time. That's great. Remove that stress. So, I won't bore you with doing this over and over again. But, so that's what you want to do. Fill it as high as you can. We'll see what happens next. Okay, so it's been about half an hour that they've been acclimated to the water. So now the next step is just to put them in the tank. So, do not pour the water. If you do not know what's been in it, it's not a good idea. So just get your little net. Here, we reach down into the bag. Preferably just get one at a time. So they don't hurt each other as they're scared. Alright, so just the net. I'm not gonna push it out and let it come out. On its own. So hold the net there so it goes out. Go. Alright, get the next one. 
go. because um, they were right at the surface, so you didn't want them getting hurt. So I just wait a few more minutes, and then just go and switch on. So that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the light. So the two of them are right here. I'm not sure where the other is, but I'm sure you'll turn up. In case you're wondering why my tank is all foggy, this is commonly known as new tank syndrome. It's just because you don't have any fish in there yet, so the bacteria is going to go crazy, and that's why it's so thick, because there's so much bacteria. In reality, it's kind of a good thing, I guess, because you see that the bacteria from your rock or sand is really reproducing, so there's a lot in there. Um, so yeah, get your fish, and once you have them in there, it should go away in just a few days. Um, but anyway, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, then please like and share. And if you want to see more by us, then subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.